All right, Fox News alert now. Two more suspected terrorists have just been released from Gitmo. They have been sent back to their native Sudan. It's the third release this month, and overall, four have been released this week. So why are we releasing these high-risk prisoners who are admitted Al-Qaeda members, all four of them? Joining us right now, Fox News terrorism analyst and best-selling author Waleed Ferris. Uh, Dr. Ferris, should we be concerned about this release? Who are these guys? First of all, I will be concerned that uh, these guys and others, remember there were two others released to, uh, back to Saudi Arabia and more, and I do expect that more of the same will happen in a general policy of shutting down Guantanamo by sending everybody back home, but in small groups. These guys are committed jihadists. They have not been shy about it. They said we have been part of that struggle. And the administration decided now to solve the issue of Guantanamo by sending them right. to their own countries. So the guys you just saw on the screen now, uh, they got like 25 names. Both admitted naval, uh, excuse me, both were held at Gitmo. Both admitted Al-Qaeda -Qai Al members. Longtime veterans of the terrorist organization, not even claiming to be reformed. We're basically saying, we just want you out of here. And those are the two guys released today. The other two guys also admitted Al-Qaeda members who were, uh, were found sending money up to the front lines. One guy was actually captured in Tora Bora. Why now? Why now is it okay to put them back in the terror fight against us? Well, there are two problems here, Brian. Number one is that statistics are telling us that most of the people we send to, to the region, including mostly to Saudi Arabia, have uh, reintegrated Al-Qaeda one way or another, either by fighting or training or, or being part of, uh, of plots. But second, there is something very important here. These guys will serve as heroes, as recruiters, the importance of individuals who have served in Guantanamo and went back to the region, when we look at internet, when we look at the satellite TV in the region, is crucial. So we are s sort of sending back right. an elite jihadist to the region at the end of the day. So I thought, since this is a war, we get into Gitmo, we put them on trial, and they could get the death penalty. Now, one of these guys said that he was willing and ready to be a suicide bomber and said most of his confidants were high-ranking guys when they were alive in Al-Qaeda. Why weren't they tried and possibly given the death penalty for their acts against the West and against us? Well, as I said, Brian, it's a question of policy. This administration has committed to shut down Guantanamo and actually as a part of uh, shutting down the war on terror. What's That's the, message? the real goal. What's the message the me from, the, uh, from the terror world to us? What message are we sending? We are sending a practical message of uh, we're not at a war, but you are at a war against us. I mean, the numbers of jihadists around the world in Syria today, thousands in Libya, in Egypt, the Egyptians are fighting them in the Sinai. So in the middle of this battleground growing in the Middle East, we are sending them back propagandists one after the other. Unbelievable. Yeah, if you thought they hated us before, imprison them for seven years and then think they're going to feel better about us. They're going to be angry. They know a lot more about the West. They're going to be hailed as heroes. And you think that we'd have some type of say in it, but the answer is no, because you're talking about uh, analyzing a release instead of analyzing whether they should be released. Well, Lee Ferris, thanks so much. Thank you for having me.